Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to create just like a really beautiful, light, fresh spring makeup look with some Chanel makeup. As you guys know, the Chanel spring release has been a little bit disjointed. The tail is old as time now. We've talked about it so much on my channel. So I thought I would take it into my own hands to create my own spring looks with the Chanel products that I have. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm a makeup artist and also esthetician, and I offer an online beauty consulting service. This is where you and I chat about any and all beauty concerns you might have. Whether you are looking for a step-by-step -step makeup coaching application, whether you have questions about which shades would look best on you, or if you have questions about your skincare routine, because it can get overwhelming. The benefit of using my services is that I am unbiased. I don't work for any brand in particular. So I will help you navigate the world of cosmetics and I will suggest whatever brands I think will work best for you. So if you wanna make an appointment, click the link in the description box down below. So as I stated, I am just going to take things into my own hands. I complained for a few weeks that we weren't getting the entire spring collection, but I thought to myself, why don't I just create my own vision of a spring makeup look for Chanel because I have a lot of products and I've also been recently purchasing or shopping the permanent collection. You know, every time there's a new release, it gets a little overwhelming and you kind of feel the pressure to buy right away before it sells out. And especially for me with my channel, I wanna buy products right away so I can give you guys swatches and a review and all that good stuff. But there's something nice about just shopping the regular permanent collection. It feels so much more relaxing and there's so much more information out there. There are so many swatches, so that's what I've been doing. So recently I've shopped a few of the permanent items in the collection. The first one here is this Ombre Première single eyeshadow called Vibrant Violet. And it's just a really beautiful purple eyeshadow. And to me, purple screams spring. So I picked it up for a spring look. And I also picked up another one of these Ombre Première Lac. These are the liquid eyeshadows. And I got this shade called Quartz Rose. This is just a really nice light pink wash of color and it goes very well with the purple solo eyeshadow I just mentioned. And an item here that I just rediscovered, this is the Hydra Beauty Nourishing Lip Balm. I forgot how amazing this is. I used a few of these back in the day and I just forgot how amazing it is. So I decided to order a new one, you know, cause it's cold, it's winter, it's good to have a really good nourishing balm. So before we go into the makeup, let's get into some skincare and the lips are part of the skincare. So let's go ahead and just moisturize these really nicely. Now what's nice about this lip balm is it's really good for like any dry or chapped skin. It's also really good for the cuticles. Like if you have really dry cuticles, you can use this. It's pretty pricey. So it just depends how extra or how bougie you are. But in a pinch, this can really go ahead and just moisturize and hydrate lots of little areas. Let's also go into the wonderful Hydra Beauty Essence Mist. This is just extra and luxury and I love it. Okay, let's dive into this beautiful single eyeshadow. So there are a couple of brushes that come with this palette here, or this eyeshadow, I should say. You get a little sponge and then this tiny little mini brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and use both of these. I'm just going into the eyeshadow here with the sponge and I'm going to pack it on the lid. Just like that, pretty easy. Now I do love a good eyeshadow palette, but it's nice to just have a single eyeshadow sometimes too. It's just really easy. I mean, I guess a purple eyeshadow might not be a one and done look. I definitely want to blend this out and add a little sparkle to it, but it's definitely still really nice. And I'm also going under the bottom lashes here with the sponge and just blending it out. And there is some fallout with this purple here, but that's okay. 
we will clean this up afterwards. Now, what I'm doing is I'm taking a clean a blending brush. This is the Sigma blending brush number E25. So what I'm going to do is I just want to like make sure that this purple is a little bit more blended because right now it just looks like purple and skin tone. So I'm just going to dip in really lightly into the eyeshadow here and just go above where the color ends and just help blend this out. Okay, so this is the purple right here. It can take a little bit of time just to blend it out, so just be patient, just add a little bit more and then keep blending. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the under eye here because some of the dark purple fell a little bit. So for the foundation, I'm going into my Le Beige Healthy Glow Foundation in the shade B30. I recently did a review of the new Chanel Le Lyon perfume, and I have to say, it's not a perfume that's meant for me. I know it's technically a unisex fragrance, but on me it reads as so very masculine. You get this like, on me, I get this like really big hit of leather and incense and just like spice and woody notes and not in the spice, like I'm thinking in comparison to maybe even like Killian Angel's Share, which is that like really heavy gourmand kind of cognac spiced perfume, which I think is also technically unisex. That one from Killian definitely reads as softer, sweeter, and more feminine, but Le Lyon on me, I just, I can't wear it. It's way too, I don't know, masculine. And it's so funny because I was talking to my friend Cherie and she loves it. She, I think she bought like a full size after a sample. So it's just so funny how perfumes can be so different on different people. So for the concealer, I am going into a Clé de Peau, not Chanel, oops. This is the Clé de Peau concealer in almond. One day you will see a new concealer on my channel, but today is not that day. I think Annie at Annie Makeup and More was saying that she likes one from Sisley, or maybe it's La Prairie. And either way, I'm gonna go ahead and investigate and maybe I can try a new concealer one of these days. Okay, now that my base makeup is set, I'm gonna go into my Quartz Rose Liquid Eyeshadow here. I wanted to do the foundation and concealer first, just because I'm gonna go into the corner here and sometimes when you do the inner corner before the foundation, it kind of gets like erased. So what I'm doing is I'm taking off excess of the product here and just wiping it on the corners. And then I'm just going to go on the inside here. And then using a separate brush, I'm just going to blend this out very lightly. It's important to remember that these liquid eyeshadows are waterproof and they will dry down very quickly. So just do one eye at a time. I'm using a refer brush. I think this is the pencil brush number three. Now I'm going to take a little bit more of this quartz rose and I'm gonna intensify right here. Okay, so one last step. I'm going to add another liquid eyeshadow. I bought this last year around this time. This is the one called Rayon. This is just like a really light wash of color. And I'm not even going to use the brush directly. I'm going to dip from the applicator here, the brush like this, and I'm going to place this on the inner corner in the tear duct here. Okay, and now I'm going into an eyeliner. I also recently bought this one here. This is the Chanel Style aux Yeux in Purple Shock. Now, a few of you talked to me about this one here. It's this really nice purple with like a little bit of a shift. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply the eyeliner everywhere, like in the waterline and a little bit on top as well. And 
then for the mascara, I'm going into my Chanel Volume in the classic black. I don't know if Chanel does purple. Maybe they do. I know I've picked up a green and I think blue mascaras. So there must exist purple mascaras, but I'm going into a black one. Okay, so for the blush, I could go into my Chanel Fleur de Printemps. I absolutely love this here. It's this really nice coral, beautiful, like, I don't know, duo of blush and highlighter. As you can tell, it's very well loved, but I kind of feel like going into something just different because I've used it so much. I mean, as you can tell, I use it a lot. So I'm gonna go into a different blush. Instead, I'm gonna go into my Joux Contrast in Rose Pétillant, which is a super light, bubbly, sparkly pink. It has a shimmer in it. It's not like a chunky glitter, just like a nice little glow. And I just feel like going for something very pink. So I'm just using one of the Refer Brushes 19. This is a cheek brush. So yeah, I'm just applying it here on the apples. I just want like a super rosy look to my cheeks. And then for the highlighter, I'm going into my Le Blanc Rosy Light Drops. These came out last year, remember? There is so much coming out every single month. I feel like we just lose track of everything that's going on. So let's dip back into last year's liquid highlighter and use this. I put some on the back of my hand and now I'm swiping into it. People often ask me how these compare to the Le Beige liquid highlighter. It's really different. The Le Blanc Rosy Light Drops are just more cool toned. It's definitely more pink. It's also lighter. And the Le Beige, I think there's two colors available. Both are more warm. One is darker than the other, but the Le Beige liquid highlighter is just more warm toned. Okay, I went ahead and ordered one of the new Rouge Allure Lac. This is the number 64 Exigence. This looks like a nice light pink, but I find that these can be pretty intense if you layer them. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to really sheer this out and just do like a light pink pout. So I find with these, you can really sheer it out and make it almost like a lip stain, or you can really build it out to make it more intense. I hope that they come out with more pinky nude colors. From what I saw, they have just like a lot of reds and I love reds, but I don't know, for this season, I'm feeling just more light lip colors at the moment. And then I'm gonna go back into my Hydro Beauty lip balm and I'm gonna go ahead and put more over top just to make it a little bit more glossy. Sometimes if you can't find the perfect lip color for you, you have to make it yourself. So to finish off the look, we have to go into a fragrance. Abby Bliss White and I totally agree that to complete a makeup look, you have to go into perfume. So I have the Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Parfum and the Coco Mademoiselle Nighttime Perfume. They're both like the same but different. This one is stronger, a little bit more patchouli. The nighttime fragrance is definitely softer. It's hard to choose, but I think I'll go with the classic Eau de Parfum. And now these can go back in the collection. All right, guys, this about does it for today's video. This is my interpretation of a Chanel springtime look. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. What do you think of this combination here? What other looks would you like to see? Do you want me to do this type of video with other brands as well? I could do this with Dior, with uh, Chantecaille as well. Sound off in the comment section down below and let me know if you own any of these collections here. If you're new to my channel, I talk about nothing but luxury beauty and I do lots of reviews and tutorials and whenever I get collections or items, I will create multiple different looks with the same products. So I reuse a lot of the same items. So you guys at home really get a sense on how to use up all of your makeup. So I would highly recommend that you subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, this is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.